this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see it. I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Alexander the Great Hernandez! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this arena right now. Two of the most dominant well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. With this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Choi's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Ooh, that up yeah, that that oh. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body. 
now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent in position where he can get off the stretch. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, and just truly mixing up the targets. Sight to behold. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. That uppercut appeared to find its home. Just misses with a left hook there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, single collar tie here. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Ooh, what a punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Throws the oh. right hand there. Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Oh! Huge right hand! Trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh! He's going to take off on here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell, so back to the stool. Mentally, probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, round two. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. He lands the right hand. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg, another leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Let's finish his fight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game.
a full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeVing has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you set a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He 